You're listening to Rebel Spirituality with me, Sam Goldfinch. Here's the truth. Wisdom doesn't follow rules. So each week we're going to explore what it means to wake up your way so you can live a more peaceful, creative and inspired life no matter your circumstances. It's time to blaze your unique path to truth. Hey Rebel, is it time for you to give less of a fuck about how you show up in the world? Is it time for you to drop a whole bunch of the thinking you've had around who you are and how you should show up and who you should be and you're the kind of person that does this and does that and um, yeah, is it time? Is it time to just take an inhale? <sighs> and just let a lot of that shit go all those beliefs all those concepts all those ideas like to stop living living by the tyranny of of you of who you think you are like what would be left if you if you were to just drop those things right just drop the ego now in a lot of spiritual traditions you'll hear people talk about destroying the ego and transcending transcending the ego and i don't know for as long as we're here in in this human form and uh consciousness is incarnated uh, with this experience, I don't know if we can destroy the ego. I think there are moments where we can have uh, ego death and there are moments where we can transcend it, but we come back, right? We come back to the earthbound self. We come back to this image of self-importance, as Sydney Banks used to call it, but it doesn't have to be so important, right? We can let go of some of it. And here's the thing, a lot of the ways in which we really stir ourselves up and all that kind of stuff are the ideas around how we should behave, right? What someone who grew up in our, in our country, in our culture, with our family, the kinds of things that someone like that would and wouldn't do, the kind of emotions that someone like that would or wouldn't feel or should or shouldn't feel. And you know, the type of person that you are, right? Well, it looks to me that in a way, dropping your ego is actually just showing up as you, right? Now, as you, if you show up as who you really are, there's this real sense of just aliveness and freshness, this rebel spirit, this presence that's here in the moment, right? And there can be different filters and things running on top of that um, and masks that we might put on. But very often we can let go of those things, right? And for some of us, we've been afraid to do that. We think, oh, if I do that, Sam, if I actually don't give a fuck, if I drop these masks, what am I going to do? Like if I allow that feeling of anger in, or if I allow, allow that feeling of sadness in, I don't know who I am. I don't know what I'm going to do with that stuff. But the thing is, that stuff is already running in the background. It's uh, it's already there, kind of pushing us around to some extent. So to actually just let go of these ideas of what we should or shouldn't feel, it's amazing what comes in. It's wisdom very often, right? Sometimes we show up and maybe we're feeling a bit flustered. Sometimes we show up and we've got some annoyed energy moving through the system or whatever it might be. But the less of a deal we make about it, the more it just moves through the system and then wisdom is there. And the cool thing, the coolest thing about this, as it looks to me, is that kindness, love and connection, they're all a part of the design. They're a part of the, they're a part of who and what you really are. Because I think one of the worries that a lot of us have is, well, if I just let go of all of those ideas and just show up completely naked, right? Well, what's left? Am I not vulnerable? Am I not going to get cold? Am I not going to miss my clothes? Well, look, you're welcome to put your clothes back on, all your ideas, whenever you want. But wouldn't this be a cool experiment to just every time you notice yourself getting caught up in this idea that you have of yourself or how you need to be or how you need to respond or react in that situation or what you're supposed to say for you to just trust that there really is a guidance system that you don't need any of that. Just try, try it on for a little while, really just drop your ego, just look in that direction and see what happens. Cause, um, as it, as it looks to me, showing up as us being us, rather than trying to be us or trying to be shiny Sam or whatever, whatever it is for you, right? There's a, a huge amount of implications and benefits to that. One, one, one real powerful example that comes to me is I recently spoke on stage and um, it was really cool to like stand in front of a group of people that, that I really, really love and respect and uh, to get to talk about the inside out understanding for just for 10, 15 minutes. It was, it was really cool. and. Um, I had a real powerful insight during that because for the first time ever, I realized that I wasn't going up on stage and trying to be who I thought other people needed me to be. And so I felt a lot less pressure. 
And sure, I had got a bit nervous and all that kind of stuff, but it's okay, it doesn't matter, right? It's just a physiological response, it soon passed. And when I found myself there, I was just myself. And the thing about being yourself is, you've got your whole self there to rely on, right? When you're trying to be who you think the people in front of you need you to be, you're not there waiting to catch yourself, right? So there's worry, there's fear, there's anxiety, but when you just show up as you, right? Which is funnily enough, the thing that many of us have been most afraid of. We think, oh, I couldn't go up on stage. I couldn't go up on that stage or the stage of life and just be me because I'd be seen. People would see me, right? But the truth of the matter is that that's not just safe, but it's a wonderful experience. It's much more freeing. You really can give less fucks <laughs> just, just to open up this door to a really wonderful and beautiful life. So what would that mean for you? What would it mean to just not show up as someone, right? Not to show up as a version of you or try and present an image to the world of who you are, but just to show up as you, just to show up as your unique flavor, just to come and show up with your rebel spirit on offer, on show for people. What would that be like for you? I, um, I think it could be pretty cool. All right, rebels, I hope you have an amazing week. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and I'll see you soon. Big love. Thank you.